Hello there, my name's Cheekster and this is a game I found uh, a little while ago and I've put a lot of hours into it. It's highly addictive. Uh, you can um, do basically a sandbox mode. You can cheat a lot if you want to, if, you, if you're feeling like um, Age of Conquest, World Invasion kind of style. Uh, it's a great indie game. It's a great indie game, for, especially for strategy guys, but this one stands out to me because it has fantastic uh, flat 2D unit design which you build out of little blocks and you can build your own tanks and, and uh, or airships and it's very very cool you have a tutorial conquest this is where you can do a world map which we'll do in a bit you've got design and fight so you can make a you can make a vehicle and then you can pit it against other vehicles and see how it does there's missions, there's multiplayer, I believe co-op is involved, uh, you can do that. Um, the settings, uh, you can have mods, you've got achievements, like here's the credits, uh, there's your soundtrack man, um, there's your, your, your developer there, all those guys. Uh, AI fleet creator, I don't even know what that is, I haven't even tried it. Uh, design airship, it just doesn't does something automatically maybe uh, no right whatever so that's that's the settings uh, we're gonna do uh, conquest and in conquest which is I feel the main game um, we'll we'll spawn the map we we'll spawn all the nations uh, we will then look at the vehicles uh, we'll look at the designing of the vehicles I think you'll find it more interesting than you will give this credit for it's not a very attractive front screen but you will be surprised um, weirdly enough at the back there it's putting designs that I've uh, got from a steam workshop it does have a steam workshop this is essential for this type of game um, I think the designer background right there is a Warhammer land speeder that I downloaded and modified so let's go into conquest uh, new game you can edit your arms, uh, your flag. Um, let's call this. Ooh, don't hit the thing. Ah, capitals. I'll do all all capitals. Uh, Cheekster Empire. Uh, real, real easy. Um, so that's a bit of a clown empire. So you've got an eagle. So when we edit arms. What does this do? Why Why would I even tell you about this? Well, actually, there's a big reason. Uh, the big reason is, is these symbols have in-game effects, which I like and dislike. It means that I might really need the benefits of the anvil, but I don't like the anvil. So, you know, I like the eagle, which conveniently gives all cannons are twice as accurate, which is really cool, especially when you're firing and there is ammo for your for your vehicle, so they can run out of ammunition. Uh, as you see, look, if you have the line symbol, it's fast to reload uh, in boarding combat. So you can board other ships with uh, marines and other such things. So that's all very good. Okay, next thing. Is quarterly and this also adds stuff you could just go crazy look you know a mullet which looks like a star not a haircut um 30 percent damage from all explosives and i've got the eagle whatever we're gonna have it and then we're gonna leave that there uh you can edit the colors who cares so right uh direct control of your ships uh that will show you that in a bit uh reputation whatever it was diplomacy um that's fine uh, rapid commands don't really know anything about that map size ultra but we're gonna do just death warrant um, yeah keep it middle and then difficulty we're gonna keep it on very easy I'm gonna put this on god mode uh, in the game with cheats because I just want to show you stuff like when you um, I'm not very good at the game I have fought the game without the cheats and it is tricky but it's uh, it's not impossible it's not like the hardest game in the world uh, you do have um, different land masses you need a continent, uh, a, a continent and then you have a uh, mix uh, between that and archipelago which is fine um, and then monsters you can have sparse frequent um, and omnipresent this is things like crazy leviathans and bestial things and these can litter the world with crazy stuff you can even have cults literally I think if you have like a cults in your uh, image here in your, in your arms uh, research and then the starting tier of all stuff 
la di da. Let's start the game. No. Just, and uh, there we go. Because because uh, we were loading a large world, it took a while, but luckily, I'm entertaining enough. Uh, hints will appear where appropriate. Blah, blah, blah. So this guy tells you all this stuff. He's very he's very plain face and stern. But we're not going to worry about him right now. We're going to click on the uh, sheet button. So here you can click money. It gives you all the money you want, all the tech that you want. Why am I showing this to you? Because I know there's a lot of you who can't be bothered, right? And some I don't turn this on every time, but like sometimes I'm so, I'm so like tired or I can't be bothered to fight tooth and claw just to conquer one nation out of twenty. It's just like no, like sometimes you do want to do it. Now you've got other things like this. You can prevent attacks, making you safe for a while. You can deactivate the AI. Uh, you can uh, compliant AI, so they just give you whatever you ask for. You can switch empires, easy espionage, other things like that. Ugh. What's happened here? All right, it crashed there. We're back. All right. Um. So, like I said, we've got the cheats, money, all tech. Why are we doing all tech? Why am I doing money sheets? Because I just want it to. I just want you to see how easy it can be to play, and how pleasant it can be to play. Like you don't have to freak out. You don't have to worry. Um, so using the arrow keys to move the map around, your mouse to click, and uh, I believe my name, my nation's name is Harsin. I think you can change that. So say I want to change it. Click here, and I do. Cadia Prime rename. There we go. So there we go. That's Cadia Prime. So what do I own currently? As I start, it's pause by the way. Uh, as I start, we've got an airship. It's called the Gibbos, right? And it looks rubbish. Um. So that's that. That's the only vehicle we've got now. I've added basically infant money. If that runs out, you just click. You add more money again. It's all good. This doesn't affect the other nations. Um, so if you are a gobmoder kind of person and you just you want zero resistance and you just want to sandbox play, this game has got you covered 100%. You can even upgrade your vehicles. Uh, I'll show you gob mode as well in the combat if you if you need that. But if you're looking for a challenge, this also caters for that. You can make it's quite difficult. These nations can be a pain. They can be difficult. You can argue with them over nonsense. Um, this is a medium size map. Map when I did the reload, uh, just just to reload it quicker. This map can get bigger, uh, quite a bit bigger. Maybe like four times, maybe five, six times um, bigger. But there we are. So Canada Prime is plonked in the middle. Now each state is made up with these little these little territories. You know, Cogburg over here. And when you click on Cogburg, what have you got? You've got defences, you've got field stations. You might want to upgrade them, so whatever, 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 whatever. So you've got all those. But they do add stuff. And so when you're actually playing the game, uh, if you're playing it uh, for challenge, then you can add these on. It does make your life easier. Um, if you're feeling frisky, you can instant build stuff. We need to put play. Instant build. Whoa. You can summon a kraken if you if you absolutely need a kraken. You can have one of those uh, for that much, but who cares? Money's infinite if you want it to be. Um, and what you would do is you would click on, on click on your unit, and then you would uh, you can teleport as a cheat. Um, I have cheats enacted, obviously, um, but you can also just send it, and then it will fly over, nice and easy. All right, so there you are, and it's going to be at Nomji or uh, in the Friendship Bay. The map is very basic. I would love them to make more complex maps, uh, like a little bit. Do we want a peace treaty? Whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, who are they actually? Let's not get distracted. So that's that. Um, and that's so you know you got this movement. It tells you what's based in there, what things you've got. You can spy on other nations. Uh, there is diplomacy. Like you click on there. You can make ultimatums. You can make offers you know your usual non-aggressive pack defense pack alliance offer a tribute demand tribute trade uh research give money take money um offer a town you can click there and go i want a town and then wherever they are and i sit there here you would click demand and then you would you would order for it right but um they won't give it to you unless these points are in the positive 
so just bear that in mind so you have to you have to become powerful uh, to get it it tells you if you're in if you're at peace it tells you it tells you the strength comparison so these guys are stronger than us uh not for long um and that's that okay this may not look super exciting and uh it isn't really um but there is a a really interesting thing about this see this is really just a simple front page but if we wanted to get what seriously i might talk of the town so we want to go here right you got these selections defenses this is a very interesting button very interesting button this one you can build buildings and structures and put them down and use them to defend the land during an attack which we will be getting to very soon and then we've got design ship build a ship right and then we've got design a land ship and then build a land ship so let us go it's all about the airships mate it's all about the airships land ships i'm sure they're probably maybe they're the best but i love the airships so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna design a ship now this looks like your um your high school computer on how to build an electrical network uh like crocodile clips or whatever it was that i used and it's it looks like an old school program but it gets really exciting now it's exciting because you can build vehicles so uh, putrefaction whatever that means we're going to rename this into um fasty mcburger all right okay so fasty mcburger it's going to be fast you're going to need a propeller see this blue that is a direction that's in the direction of the force this is the back of the vehicle you can swap them um in battle as well i think it's come here as y or j or something like that. you can swap it and then it's kind of just like mirror turns like that so you can move your ships and switch switch them around when fighting up in the top corner it's telling you things that are important like uh, the ship is too heavy to fly a ship has no coal has no crew cannot give commands to ships see, these are things you need and these things are labeled in this menu here it looks complicated it isn't suspension bay there we go did you see that little line that line is a connecting that means the crew can move between them right we're going to give fasty burger two lifts but to stay true to the name we're going to give them that now what's happened we've got a red line oh my goodness how do we deal with that corridor with a ladder oh that didn't work whoops it will though quarters we need people to actually be in there uh, a bridge a command deck uh, let's put that there uh, we need a uh, steel hatch um, I don't quite understand what these are for uh, it seems to move stuff around inside the base inside the vehicle so I'm just gonna add one there uh, ammo store we need ammunition it's probably a terrible place to put ammunition because if it explodes it'll take out my my uh, my my flying or my lift this is these crystals they keep you in the sky this is interesting coal store this is what's fueling all your jazz we'll stick one of those in there heck we'll have two why not what's still missing um there's lack of connection and it needs more supply hatches there we go we'll have three now this ship practically technically flies but uh it's unarmored and it's pointless right this is what uh it looks like on the outside it's a sad sorry state of affairs but it's going to get more interesting so we've got an ammunition what do we need we do we've got a command deck up here cannons so this cannon there we go there we go there we go this is a super basic vehicle i'm just going to make a fasty mcburger and you're going to see it in action in a minute All right uh what, what else we got rifles you see all these different weapons do slightly different things um uh it was x to flip isn't it so is it x to flip no i can't remember what, what it was now um so there you go that's that there we go extra guns now these guys are gonna fire like light rounds all the business Whoop. who cares there we go do you know what let's add 
a repair bay. It's getting very complex for what it is. An extra steel thing. Okay. Armor. Let's. Uh, so with these armors, you have weight values. So if I make this all that steel, it will be heavy. Um, but we don't care. Ignore the sound. Does it all have to be steel? Does it just have to be steel at the front where it'd be mostly hit? Probably. You can now dye it. Red. And then asparagus green. Let's do a racing stripe of asparagus green. There we go. All right. And then let's do decoration. I don't know what you're saying, this is art. You can add all these different things antennas, uh, foghorn. Uh, sometimes these bits, you can convert them to look like something more interesting. And that's that, right? It's painful that I haven't actually colored in all the, uh, oh, you see, you can change the color of the objects as well, which is also very nice. Let's go back to paint. Cause I've, I've made, I've made like a sinister thing. It says this is black, but I do not believe it's actually black. There we go. Okay, so that's a, an aerial unit. It, it's got four cannons. You see in the arcs of fire, you've got, you got the uh, the rifles here, and it's, it's okay, it's okay. Modules, it's technically flight worthy. I've put the ammunition supply in the front, which is laughable, because this will be the first place it'll get hit, so this will blow up and take out all the vehicles. Fast and Burger will probably not pass the front lines. This all said, can save your design and I've built a bunch of designs but let's just say fasting burger for now and let's open a design one of my favorite designs is the Cromwell mark one I, I like the Cromwell mark one it's very straightforward similar to fasty burger it's not super well built but I like it because of the, the rifles at the top I've got a rifle at the back for in case they flank around the back and I've got the cans at the front crew I've got a good lift in there and a little lift and I've got these ones here this is like uh, water to stop fire from spreading it's pleasant I've even got this little site up here and a flag up there just to improve command this is all very fun now that's the basics of building let's build one of those in fact let's build a ship and we're gonna select uh, what have I got here? See, look, land speeder. This is just like the ones in Warhammer. Got uh, different types of battle, battle uh, battleships, and the Gladius. Oh, good lord! Fasty McBurger. We'll build one of those. How many do you want to build? We'll build three Fasty McBurgers, and we're going to build another ship, a more impressive ship. Uh, a bow bomber I like that built on the Marauder um, skin I download da uh, construct I downloaded downloaded let's have Imperial Lightning so you might, if you're a Warhammer fan you'll start noticing oh these are like things from the thing like these these are from the IP how interesting and speed of mark one look at that well, I have two of those Ah, and then, um, oh, I liked this one, didn't I? So here, a really interesting thing, I know it's numbers, but it is interesting, right, is service ceiling. This is good to know. This tells you how high your ship can go into the air. That's really interesting. Now, I'm not obviously, very obviously not a pro, but I'm going to, um, but I love these little models I, I made, and I find them really enjoyable. They're not the most beautiful ships, I've seen people make very beautiful ships. Um, where is he? I think this was it. Look at this. I really like this ship someone built. Build that. Right, instant build. Instant build. Now this one, because it's so big, even instant build can't build it fast enough. Uh, but while that's building, we'll go to Numji. Defenses. So when we're looking at defenses, It's the same concept for the airships, but for but for bases. 
um, build a building. I'm going to put. So I, I designed this, the missile base. That's it. And then build building. And then if you click onto Steam, there's a bunch of different constructions which I find really interesting. So I really liked uh, Imperial uh, Citadel. That was really nice. I'm gonna have one of them. Uh, oh no! Wait a minute. F to flip. Oh no, that doesn't work. What is it Z? Oh, I, I don't know. Who cares? I'll just put it there. And then, and then where is it? Gothic Cathedral. We'll have one of them. Okay, that's all cool. Leave. Now, let's look at defenses. Look at that. Then you can click outside view, so you can see what it looks like on the outside. So look how beautiful that building is. Someone made that. Some someone really cool made that. Someone cool made that. I made that. Um, I like this one because it's got an ammunition store, which seems excessive, and lots of missiles, which is wonderful. And then Emperor class battleship is being built. It's taking a sweet time, so we're going to push time forward in a fashion that defies the laws of time and God. Excellent. Cool, so you can see these people moving around. Uh, no, thank you very much, sir. No, thank you very much, sir. See, if you put it on fast speed, it just escalates. There we go. So here, I'm going to build defences here, uh, let's build a building, who cares, uh, block houses are nice, Imperial Citadel, Imperial Palace, which is not complete, uh, Gothic Cathedrals, Imperial Trade, now if, if you know anything about Warhammer, you will know what that Imperial Trade building is, um, a tall tower, let's have a tall tower, we'll build that there, okay, leave, instant build, instant build. Defenses. Let's see what this tower looks like on the outside. There we go. So there's this tower. This tower's got uh, like a vibe. It's like um, like Final Fantasy fourteen. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's really nice. Limsa Liminza. Very cool. Very cool. And then there's that. That's your Imperial forty uh, k uh, mining oil rig. Uh, land ship. I've built multiple heavy tanks. Uh, I like to use things like the words like Imperial, but that doesn't really matter. As you can see, I've tried to build multiple variants of a tank design that I like. I just call them T something, and that's my way of numbering them, knowing where they're from, where they're going. That does not look like a Tiger tank, but let's just say, oh, that was a rubbish one. Scout walkers. I really liked the T40. So we're going to open that. There we go. And then we'll leave. Uh, so it's got something there. Right, so when, when is this Emperor class battleship built? No, it's taking its time because I slowed down time. Um, yeah, so there you are. So what you can see here is you can see uh, that they are, yep, except that they are conquering territories, flying out, and it doesn't look very exciting. But when, but I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, when there's an actual conflict going on. Right, there we go. What have we got here? Oh, the gibbous. Nobody wants the gibbous. Isn't that a computer game? Like, point and click. Um, we'll start building up constructions. You can build small construction yards in these smaller places. Enables you to build more things, which is all very cool. I. So, yeah. Look at that. They have different resources as well. I don't really know how it affects the game. I haven't really cared that much. I've just played just to see. See, like, Frog's Mouth is doing exceptionally well. 
So we're gonna we're starting to miss out as these empires are looking to push themselves and, and uh, spread their influence. So uh, Altfar is doing very well. Okay, a prime. Let's have a look. Is our ship built? It is. Okay, so we are going to move that way. We will declare war because we're fiendish, we're devilish. And as you see, it's got like a slow thing. Now you can cheat and do a quick jump. Now they've purposely put their forces there to counter these. I don't know how big their forces are, but you can put a spy in there and that spy will be able to see the forces and the defenses. Okay, so we're off. This is the battle, all right? You can choose to automatically do it, which is the boring way out, but it, but it can be done. Uh, you can move the main battleship back one of the pains I find is these, these little rocks. They're very annoying. I'm going to move my Cromwell, Mark 1, here. There we go. I'm going to use him to take the fire of incoming things to protect the main vessel. Uh, these, as we know, are our Fasty McGee's. And so there we are. The enemy. They tend to build their own ships and have their own designs, which can be very interesting. Uh, I believe weather can affect it, but I don't know how, but that doesn't really matter. We're just going to see the battle. So, we're going to start. This could be loud. As you see, we're engaged. It was a very quick victory, so they quickly surrendered. Okay, gentle takeover. They are fleeing. But we're not going out without a fight. We're going to chase them down here, and we'll push them until they can't go anywhere. Uh, ooh. There we go. Look at that missile. Ooh, very good. Okay. Victory. And this is how you would do it. You would just chase them through. So what they're doing is they're trying to reduce their damages uh, and force you into, into harder fights like where their defenses are stronger. But they're early on in the game, their defenses aren't massive. Ooh, he's losing the lift. Fasty McBurger. Outside view. It's not just the aircraft. We are contending with the ground defences. Look at that, look at that. Torpedo. Follow the action. Four of them surrendered, three of them destroyed. Their prime ships are down, their bases quit as soon as they realised that their fleet couldn't hold them. That was very cool. Gentle takeover. You can go hardcore, you can pillage, you can brutal takeover. I don't really care that much about that. I just want to get into the fights. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? Then this one. Uh, let's just quick teleport in there. And this is uh, my tank. Outside view. I think it's T40. That's my T40. I built it mostly around this main cannon. As you can see, look at that. Cannon here. Very cool. So 
I'm going to move him there. Because he's heavy, I believe he can break the, through the debris, through the difficult terrain. And this is what he's fighting. There's only one tank. So Outside view. I like to click because I'm a clicker. See? As he goes along here, that's all very interesting. Um, water puts out fires. Ammo. Well, it's ammo, isn't it? Crew, how many people can operate the tank? This is a 30 man tank. And that's how much coal, so that's how much uh, he can move. Obviously, scale is a bit mad 30 people for a tank. Now, I want to get him close to use his front gun. Oh, he's. Surrendered. There you go. The site of the T40. General takeover. And that's that. Now you carry that out and you would uh, then further go like to each of the nations as such. Now that's that. We don't really need to go further into that. That's very clear. So we're going to quit this. And we're going to go back. And I want to show you the last thing is design and fight. Uh, combat. Whoa. Yep, that's all cool. We're going, so you've got these two boxes, you and enemy. Uh, I'm going to uh, add an airship, which savage weapon system shall we engage with today? We're going to have the Imperial Battleship Mark II, because I I edited the original one to give it better lift. The original one's service ceiling is 16 meters, which is not sensational versus my 82. So we're going to add that. It's not super, but there you go. We'll add, we'll add two of those, right? Heck, we'll add three. Now in the enemies category, let's thing and then add an airship so when you click on it, you can see what it is to the side HMS Bastard the Bilal so there's a lot of different styles of base these are the basic ones that they gave you um, Vanguard yeah, that's quite a mega one look at that the Ravager it's got some chainsaw on the front um, Storm Raven Ultra, Repulsor Ultramar, Thunderhawks. I like my Thunderhawks a lot. Um, Valentine. Da, da, da. Let's let's add the Vampire. I like the Vampire. There we go. I'll add two Vampires. Three. Well, even out. I don't know who will win. Um, stop placing and start. Oh, whoops. Oh, I can't control this. Good point. Follow action. Outside view. Ah, uh, whoops. So these. Imperial battleships. that aerial part. There is a destroy ships cheat here. Pushing him to his highest ceiling. See? The Gatling guns. These are side cannons built inside. There's a sticky thing. Sometimes the ships get caught together. If one loses lift, it can fall on another and push it down. It's 
especially if it weighs more. Inside, a fire is spreading. It's that old. For this reason, we'll move him here in case he breaks and falls on top of him. Like he has. Bombs on him. Stop. We don't care about cheating. Man. Vampires. Wrong for your money. I have them going into ramming speed. ahead. 
Why's that up? Altitude control. I have multiple bombing units. And there you have it, people. We win. That's it. Auto kill. Huzzah. And they are destroyed. And that is why this game is very fun. Now you imagine you're building lots of different ships. You can get uh, Star Destroyers, anything anything you want from game uh, from the Steam Workshop. Uh, you can get all the Games Workshop stuff that uh, I really love. The, the battles are very intense. They're very fun. And with this as well, with combat, you can also do buildings. Why would you do buildings? It enables you to kind of test to see if you're happy with how it works. You know, as you can see, look, like, I like this one. We're going to add that. Right. Ooh. Well, they're all the wrong way around. It doesn't matter. Um, but you can do that and you can back and forth missiles if you want. You add your airships. Again, you know, it's all very cool. See if I want some of these uh, battleships, look at that. Then you've got your little forts here, artillery guns and all sorts and cannons. And then there's you, there's the main ship, imperial ship. Uh, it's an emperor class battleship. Someone's, someone else made this. I think it's gorgeous. And I took, that's why I wanted that design in my game. You can make smart AI. Look, as you can see, you can, you can change the weather, fog, rain. Right, stormy night, snowy night, and I like that. I like that a lot. So there we are, guys. Oh, let's go back. Let's leave. Oh, just leave. There we go. So this is airships conquer the skies. I think that this is a fantastic little strategy game for people to play. Uh, you can design ships to your heart's content you can uh take ships that people have already made and convert them which is something i've done and i've really enjoyed this game is hours and hours of play uh, i've i've racked up enough to know that i that this is really really fun uh, again you could do multiplayer which is really interesting because you can direct control your ships i haven't done multiplayer but i can imagine changing the altitudes trying to out with each other you're also managing uh, ammunition supplies you are uh, you have you also have things like coal which is keeping you which is powering you to keep you going and then of course you've got um, uh, water you need to have enough water and crew uh, to operate you need water because you need to be able to put out fires on the ship and fires can spread and be quite drastic and you can get fire resistant hatches and you can make really smart airships that are relatively great all-rounders or you can do what i did and then go on the workshop and find lots of really unique uh really unique designs some of the designs are sensational people have made fantastic ships uh ships that i could could not make uh, at my current level of skill <laughs> look at that thing with a beast saw it uh the, the weapon systems i'm just going to show you one th one more thing just in the design is uh where is it? Airship editor, right? This is your parts. It seems confusing. It isn't. Uh, and I'll tell you why it isn't. Basic. What that means is just all the stuff you're going to need that has to be in there. You got your command crews and all that stuff. Lift, which is what keeps you in the keeps you in the air with a special crystal. You got propulsion, like propellers and all such things. But weapons, you can get that here. As you can see, look at that. Basic cannons, mortars, grenades, uh, rifle types, uh, a baluster for some. Uh, ballista uh, for some reason uh, deck gun, heavy bombards, heavy cannons imperial cannons which are massive 
buggers like that. Look, look at this stuff. Look at this. You know, they're not mucking around. Like this is this is some beautiful stuff here. If you're if you're like me and you enjoy uh, building um, aircraft, uh, building vehicles, tanks, your own versions, your own marks. Uh, other stuff like that. Spawn soon, so you can have more cans added on in on the middle of your of your uh, ship. Um, flamethrowers. Oh, everyone loves a flamethrower. Um, heavy flamethrower. They are fantastic when you're fighting against enemy bases. You just flood them out with flames. You've got bomb bays. Um, dropping bombs. You have a whole bunch of these in in a line. Like as you fly over a base, it just pummels them to submission. It's also very effective against. Um, like armor, uh, ground armor, in my opinion. Kinetic bombs. You got uh, dorsal turrets up top. You got a uh, large front turret. Um, look at this stuff, guys. Look at this stuff. Whoops. And yeah, and then of course, what else have you got? You got flat cannons, a trebuchet if you're feeling particularly frisky. Um, guided missile systems, which are all essential. An acid spitter that I've never used. Uh, mechanical tentacles. Uh, suspending cannons. These are like laser guns, I think. And then you've got like uh, uh, the saw blade, of course, you know, which is uh, quite sensational. Whoa. Look at that stuff. Look at that. All these different guns. And then, of course, you've got rams. You know, like like a huge fist. It's like, a, like an imperial fist, if you will noses and then you've got troops of course you can add troops in uh, clockwork marines uh, standard marines you can also launch uh, aircraft uh, whoops like aircraft maintenance and bay biplanes uh, a bomber you can have whole decks of these things um, where is it yeah see this is like an aircraft carrier I did the Def Company carrier. I just thought it was great. It's got a heavy cannon. It's got some light guns here and there. I've got quite into the Gatling guns. It's got these automated clockwork hussar bays. And then, of course, you've got bombers and other things like that. And these things can then fly over to bases. They can also harass enemy aircraft. It's really interesting if you're into this sort of thing. And you can be on here building for hours. And you can even start getting like, oh, how do I make this pretty? Or how do I do this? You know, I know it's Def Company. It should be Def Guard. Um, but it's, it's very... It's it's quite technical. There are some technical bits to it, but technical in a simple way. <laughs> it's like like if you have no engineering skill, this is still not a problem. So there you go. You've got paints, decorations like heraldries. You could put these these skulls on it. I've seen people make uh, evil chaos uh, battleships, all sorts of things with spikes, uh, different types of armors and all that stuff. So there you go. Airships, fantastic. So there you are. Conquer the skies with airships. It's a great indie game. This is totally worth your money. You you are so likely to get your um, money's worth out of it. It's got a god mode on there if you're one of one of us uh, who don't want a massive challenge when we're playing a game. We just want to enjoy it for the sake of it. You know, dads, casual dudes, people, gals, doesn't matter. It's got all of that. It's got tutorials. It, it explains itself relatively well. It's not super clear, but it's got buttons. M for move. I mean, come on, it's it's really straightforward. You can build your own heraldry, build your own nation. Uh, the maps could be quite large if you want them to be, but uh, that is probably my major criticism of the game. The design of the ships is great. Design of the tanks, uh, bases, all great. The map needs you need a distinctive map editor on the front page with huge arrays of being able to maybe even be able to import textures onto your own map i don't know it needs something like that you know like you had with age of empires but apart from that there you go airships conquer the skies it is worth buying uh let's go for it okay my name's cheekster this is airships conquer the skies i hope you enjoyed it Bye bye